Hello, my name is Andre, and this is cute little robot. His name is Bernie. This is the part of a Lego Boost set, and my daughters had a lot of fun assembling this robot. But the most interesting thing in it is the robotic pieces, which are all formed around the central brick, which has two robot, two two wheels, two motors to drive these two wheels and uh, one additional external motor to make it to rotate its neck and the sensor in the middle that can detect light, distance and even color. Uh, but the problem was that I didn't have any devices that supports programming with Lego Boost app, so I asked uh, the question in Google, how do I program that with one of the major languages, which is, for me, it's a Python. It's a perfect language to for the simple tasks. And I found uh, some enthusiasts that, uh, that decode the uh, Bluetooth protocol. And I joined that community to create very nice library to drive Verney and in general all of the Lego Boost bricks uh, and peripherals. One of the optimization that I had to do is also to change the power because I don't want to spend too much of batteries. I just attached USB power bank and uh, without breaking anything I just used existing holes in the uh, power uh, block for the batteries to put put two small wires into it and have the power from this uh, power bank. The only problem with power banks is that the original voltage is 9, volt, 9 volts and power banks give only 5 but the only side effect of having this is the blinking LED which always says hey I have not enough power but that's okay everything else works smoothly Verni is fully operable and for the long runs you can even use some like higher capacity power banks it will also work and my, my main interest is programming so I try to invest uh, into creating very good library to operate with this Lego Boost set uh, robotized pieces. And based on Verni, I will demonstrate you some of the uh, capabilities of this programming library with starting with very simple and more and more complex examples how you make sensors, motors and everything work together. The first example will be using Playmat that goes together with Lego Boost set. And the idea of program is very simple for Verni to go through some of the Playmat positions and go back to its final position. I have wooden floor which is slightly uneven and it makes Verni to not go exactly the straight line sometimes but hopefully it will complete the program and the program uses the Verni class which uh, is built on top of the Python library and that Verni class provides simple uh, actions to move forward, move backwards uh, and turn right or left Let's review how will it work. So we are starting the program and Verney is going to do some moves. Almost, I almost hit the origin point. 
The next example is something that I call runaway game. It is a very simple program that listens to distance sensor and when something approaches Bernie from the front, Bernie starts moving backwards and it moves as faster uh, it moves faster with closer distance towards it. Let's see how it works. And also there is uh, a button set, button listener which will make it to not rotate. If I will press the button, it will stop functioning, the program will finish. The next game is what I call go towards light. I have made a dark corner for Bernie and I put it there and the idea of program is to make one turn find the brightest uh, direction turn towards brightest direction and go until uh, luminosity will decrease and then repeat it all over again make a turn find the best direction go towards that direction let's see how it works with Verney. It initializes and starts making its first turn. No, oh, it really likes the backpack. Oh, now it found. Now it finds the way out. Let's forget about the initial mistake. And now it closes to the brighter thing. But what will happen now? It, it sees its own shadow and it decides to move out. Okay. It will go now to the brighter area. Because the brighter area is somewhere there. Because of the light from two windows. The small robot is pretty sure and it goes right way. Sometimes it needs some corrections to make sure there is no better light and place. But it goes. From the practice I know that the area is somewhere there. It will take some time for Verney to find it. So if you remember, the original placement of Verney was somewhere there, in the dark corner. And now it successfully finds the optimal place, maybe have some sun bath. So now it will move back and forth in this area, finding the best spot for itself. My next demonstration will use uh, an Android-based remote control for Verney. The setup is very simple. There is free application. It's called Sensor Node Free, and it is able to uh, to stream uh, my tilt sensor data from my mobile phone into my computer based on UDP protocol. Very simple text protocol, and there is Python application listening to those values and sends commands to Verney to just move like regular racing car with remote control. Let's try it. I'm sorry, Verney. Let's enable the app. And let's start it.
One thing that is done in this application is Verni also has the distance sensor enabled. So whenever it approaches any surface, it will stop moving forward. It will only be able to rotate or go back. Let's see. Bam! Like the wall. Go back. No, it refuses because of the distance. Well done, little friend. And we can disable the application. This is Vernie, our little robot. Good job, mate. You, you did it really well. All of these examples are available uh, from the library in language Python and you can create any sophisticated programs. I'm planning in the future to create the two-dimensional movement uh, construction. So I will put the laser there and I will try to maybe make some pictures on the wood with that powerful laser. Let's see what we'll get out of this idea in the future. I will for sure share any of my findings and uh, cool things with this Lego Boost set, which is intended to be used by kids under age 12, but well, I'm 35, I'm enjoying it, especially the programming part of that. Cool, thanks for watching.